Hello everyone. In this video, I teamed up with a friend to implement a four-state Kalman filter to estimate the pitch angle of a small contraption we built using an inertial measurement unit. We'll take a look at what we built, how we designed the Kalman filter, and then we'll go over the Arduino code. First of all, a small demonstration before diving into the details. Here I compare between the Kalman filter and the complementary filter. And the most significant difference I notice between them is when I shake it aggressively and quickly like this, um, I notice that the common filter converges back to the true angle and the complementary filter has an offset. And here's what we built. You can see the servo motor here, the battery, the Arduino, the IMU at the end here, and there's an axis that allows it to move like this. I prefer to build all my projects from scraps lying around, and this one was no exception. Okay, let's go over the system description. Our goal for this project was to implement a common filter to estimate something. And in this case, we're estimating the pitch angle of this contraption here and comparing it to a complementary filter. We're using an IMU, and our IMU has a gyroscope and accelerometer. We're using the gyroscope to measure the angular velocity, and we're using the accelerometer in two ways. One is to estimate the pitch angle itself by the gravitational force, and the second one is to calculate the angular acceleration. If you're not familiar with common filters, I'd really recommend watching the common filter video series by MathWorks first. And I used these equations from uh, an article named uh, An Introduction to the Common Filter by Greg Welch and Gary Bishop. I really recommend watching, uh, reading that article first uh, to get a better grasp of the common filter. And here are the matrices and vectors I defined. Uh, X, the state vector, is uh, theta is the angular position, the angular velocity, angular acceleration, and the gyro bias. A is uh, just the system dynamics, so it's simple equations of motion. H relates between the state vector and the measurements themselves. So I'm measuring the, the position, the angular position, the angular velocity along with the bias itself, and the angular acceleration. These are the covariances. Some data. Now here is an explanation of why I included bias in one of the states, as one of the states. And I'll leave a link in, in the description of an article that does the same. I took the idea from there. And because we're using a state observer, obviously the system has to be observable, which it is in our case and some information I wrote to myself when tuning. So this is the Arduino code. I wrote as many comments as possible so you can pause and read what I did. Uh, I'm just gonna slowly scroll down and explain things along the way. Okay, um, first of all, I used code from the poor engineer for the plots we saw earlier using also Python. And I used code from how to make uh, to read from the MPU and calculate the complementary filter. I, I'll leave links to both of them in the description. I really recommend checking out their sites. Okay, these are just matrices I defined. This is for the uh, process noise covariance. That's what's recommended to tune because it's pretty difficult to estimate the process noise covariance. So this is a parameter you can tune to see if you can get better results. Maybe I'll show later on how, if I change it, how the common filter reacts. Okay, um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the loop time, this is to make sure uh, to sample at exact increments of time. Uh, let's see, this is to, there's a function down below that I'll show uh, at the end that uh, calculates the mean error. And I also changed it a bit to calculate the variances, but it's in a different file, so I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, time to, the variances and the mean, uh, no, excuse me, the variances I put, I, I needed to calculate to uh, put in these matrices, if I recall correctly, in P, R, and Q. No, just in P and R. Uh, but it says so uh, also in the article I, I'll put a link to in the description by Greg Welch. Okay, uh, this is all by How to Make Atronics. This is uh, to calculate the angular acceleration. Let's see, this is to initialize the, the gyro angle because when you turn it on, it doesn't know where it is. So I use the accelerometer for that. Uh, just initializing the matrices. Uh, 
what else. And here is the calculation of the complementary filter. I really recommend watching uh, Drone Control and the Complementary Filter by Brian Douglas. It gives a great explanation about complementary filters and how it's, it's actually implementing this simple equation is actually implementing a uh, low-pass filter. And this is it. This is the Kalman filter, just implementing um, what's written in the equations I showed before. And that's pretty much it. I hope I detailed it enough in the comments here. And now I'm just taking the pitch angle. I defined a small PI controller uh, just for the, for the show, for the servo motor to see how it tracks and stays on, keeps it on zero with a reference of zero. Um, I got some uh, integral wind up, but didn't really think it would, that wasn't the intention of this uh, project to make a better control. It was more to uh, implement the common filter. So I didn't get into that. And truncate, it's truncates to int, because it doesn't really matter anyway. These are the hardware limits. And that's it. Now I'm sending it to PC, sent to PC, which is the function by uh, the poor engineer that that plots, that samples and plots it. Um, this, is, this, this is how I found the, um, the initial values for the PI controller. I just put the servo motor, I gave it different controls and watched what the angle was. And this is the calculate IMU. I think How to Mechatronics uh, explains it really well in his uh, article. And here is uh, the poor engineer function. I'm not going to get into the Python script he wrote. That's also in his, uh, in his site. Really recommend going there. It's very, very detailed. Okay, so here are two common filters with different cues. That's the only thing I changed. And now I'm going to move the sensor and we'll see how differently they react. You'll see the red one is much smoother and the turquoise one is much, it reacts much more quickly, but it's also a lot noisier. So it's up to you to fine tune your cue also for different uh, states, which cue suits each state and uh, until you get the results you want. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.